have a tiny microphone. It's really cute. Um, so, Disney video today. Got my, got my castle shirt on, and also a blanket, because it's kind of, kind of chilly, if you know what I mean. Um, so we're doing a movie theme quiz. There's 40 Disney and Pixar instrumentals from Movie Blind Test. I'll link the video in the description, as always, because I'm a good person like that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have to guess what they are, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 15 seconds to guess the movie. Good luck. Count how many I get right. I've, it's gonna be good. Beauty and the Beast. Absolutely killing it already. <clears throat> so good. So good. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. Let's go. Number two. Yo, I'm kind of vibing with this. The bells are giving me Hunchback of Notre Dame. Valid guess, am I right? Yeah, or is it Hunchback of Notre Dame? Is that like, uh, I don't know. Monsters Inc. With confidence. <laughs> Yeah. Come on, guys. Easy. Easy. Lion King. Invincible. I'm invincible. Loki, though. Lion King has such good music. Such a pretty score. Such a pretty score. Pocahontas. Press the curtain back at light you please. Can you sing with all the voices of the night? Can you paint with all the colors of the wind? You can hold the earth and still your own heart. Pirates of the Caribbean. Amazing. So good. I like the faster version of this, but it's still good. It's still great. This sounds kind of like... Hold on. Am I allowed to pause it? Sure. I make the rules. Come on. Um, it's kind of like Big Hero 6 vibes. It's kind of like a... I know it from somewhere, obviously. Boom, boom. Oh, oh, and then it's like, ba 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 bum ba bum. Where is that? It's that one scene in Mulan where she's like cutting her hair. That's gotta be it. Yes, yes. That is honestly such an epic soundtrack moment. Cinderella. So this is what makes life different. I'm all alone, now I know the key to heaven is mine. Perfect. Nailed it. Hit the nail on the head. Incredibles. Too good. Too good. But I know. Oh, dude, the guy that wrote the score for this, Michael, I don't know how to say his last name, it starts with a G, though. He wrote, like, a lot of scores, like, oh, Hercules, go the distance. A great warm welcome waiting for me, where the crowds will when they see my face. The voice keeps saying, this is where I'm meant to be. 
Anyway, that Michael dude, he wrote a bunch of scores, and honestly, they're all so good. This is giving kind of like fairy vibes, is it like... Oh, Alice's theme from Alice in Wonderland. Oh, it's like the live one. I didn't watch that, so that that's Aladdin. Uh, that would explain why I don't know. I want to listen to that again. That was kind of fairy. It's pretty. Should I watch the Alice in Wonderland? I feel like I should. Anyway, that's Aladdin. Master, you're in luck, cause up your sleeve, you got a brand of magic, never fails, and I'll say, Mr. Aladdin, sir. I feel like this is like an animal movie. It's given like, you know, like, drumbeat vibes, like Brother Bear or something. That was clutch. That was clutch. Brother Bear. Thank you. Thank you. Mary Poppins. I think we can skip this one a little bit. Because I just... I know. In the most of the... Yo, Dick Van Dyke is like still alive. And he's still like going to the gym and walking around and stuff. Like, we have no excuse. Up. Man, this movie knows how to pull on the heartstrings. <gasps> Yo, it's the Michael dude. He wrote. I didn't know he wrote stuff for Up too. We got The Incredibles. We got Up. Frozen. I don't think I know this one, but it's kind of, it's like, it's like more tech now. Is it in a Star Wars thing? Is that Disney even? I don't know, actually. Tron Legacy. I don't know what that is, but hey, kind of, kind of cool. <gasps> Tangled. Oh, Kingdom Dance. <laughs> Honestly, Kingdom Dance, oh my gosh. Such a bop. I I adore that song. And and the movie Tangled. So good. So good. No complaints here. Tarzan. You'll be in my heart. Keep you safe and warm. <laughs> I will be here, don't you cry. So good. I should do songs from Tarzan. Nightmare Before Christmas. The way I almost said just Halloween Town as the name of the movie. Good one. <laughs> Everybody is waiting for the big surprise in this town. Don't we love it now? Oh, so good. Solid movie, solid movie. Oh my gosh. This sounds like, I don't know if anyone's ever played Seen It, but this is like the waiting music. It's probably something like random, like Wally or something. I feel like, I, I feel like this would be in Wally. Yeah. Define dancing from Wally, but it's the Seen It loading music. Okay, see this one? This one had like that little voice at the beginning. It was kind of like tribal, if you know what I mean. 
And it's like, it's like, it's got like the marimba and stuff. I'm gonna go Atlantis. This feels like Atlantis. Yeah. I just watched a Dylan is in trouble video where he was watching Atlantis and that just fit the vibe. Sleeping Beauty. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you. The gleam in your eyes is so familiar. A gleam that I know it's true. That visions are seldom what they seem. Ratatouille. This is LaFestin. I just listened to LaFestin like a faster version. So this is probably like a finale type situation. Because the actual song is like. No way that Michael Dude wrote stuff for the Ratatouille too. Yo, hold on. Pause. No, pause. Stop. Stop. Bessie, what are you doing? Sorry. He wrote for. Ratatouille, Incredibles, and Up. Yo, what else does this man have? There better be cars too in here. If I don't hear some Finn McMissile, I'm gonna be kind of upset because I know the Michael dude wrote for that too. Now, what's this? Is this Treasure Planet? I feel like this is a Treasure Planet. Oh, no, it's enchanted. That's the dude from Sweet Home Alabama. Yo, that's a good rom com wiki. That, that's a pretty that's a pretty soundtrack though. Treasure Planet's gotta be in there. I'm gonna get it, I know. I know this. Okay, so it sounds like that one song with Piglet and Winnie the Pooh, but I'm pretty sure it's Fantasia. I think this is like with the apprentice when the brooms are like dancing okay clarinet yeah the sorcerer's apprentice fantasia let's go but that clarinet little mermaid i wanna see you wanna see i'm dancing walking around on those what's that word again oh feet up where they walk up where they run so good. Just kind of a vibe. It's like, a, I don't know what this is, but it's good. Dinosaur. Has anyone seen Dinosaur? Should I watch it? I bet it's about a dinosaur. Wild guess. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this... Is this... Mm, is it... I hope it's not from Finding Neverland... Yeah. Return to Neverland. Peter Pan's not-so-great sequel. I was very disappointed in it. Look, the fact that they picked Return to Neverland and not the original Peter Pan is honestly upsetting. Leaving a comment right now. Hold on. Tiny microphone going down. The fact that they chose Return to Neverland over the original Peter Pan is a sin I can never forgive. Sad face. Okay. And comment. <clears throat> okay, now go like my comment because I'm right. And we're just not going to talk about Return to Neverland anymore because it's not. We're just going to pretend it doesn't exist. That's what we do in this household. Okay? Okay. Moving on. This is number 30. Let's go. Why does this Loki sound like it's from Brave? But it's not. It's something else. Oh, is this Treasure Planet? I bet this is Treasure Planet. It's not Treasure Planet. There's gonna be Treasure Planet. I can feel it. That one was Narnia. And that makes sense. Because Brave and Narnia, they give me the same vibe. Watch. This next one's gonna be Treasure Planet. 
I'm telling you, I haven't seen that movie in forever, but I feel like it's in, like, every trivia thing. There's one Treasure Planet question, so it's gotta be in here. This one. This is the one. This has got to be Treasure Planet. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, I am victorious, bro. I would have been so embarrassed if there was, like, not a single treasure planet. And I was, like, so confident that one of them was going to be treasure planet. That would have been honestly really funny. But I'm glad I got it right. Is this Milan again? Because this is reflection. Staring straight back at me. Why is my reflection someone I don't know? I can remember the lyrics to every Disney song, but I can't remember a single math equation. Explain that. Explain that, Disney. <gasps> this is from Finding Nemo. This is like uh, Nemo's Egg. It's like the main title, I'm pretty sure. I, f I fall asleep to this song. <laughs> Yep, Nemo Egg. Main title. Got that Disney knowledge. Ugh. Is this Lion King again? Because this is like... Lion King has such a good score. That and Mulan. You know what? They deserve to be in here twice. But you know who else deserves to be in here? The original Peter Pan. That had good music. Come on, um... Movie blind test. Come on. I'm riding. Look, I even have a peanut, uh, Peter Pan pillow. It's from Japan. It's awesome. This is, uh, duh. Why, why does it sound like Snow White? It's not. It's Jungle Book. It's when they're doing, it's like the little jungle march type situation. Yeah, when they go with the elephants. And then he starts going the wrong way and he like runs into them. Yeah. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da. This is April shower, so Bambi. Bambi, that's what it is. <laughs> Honestly, this song is kind of scary. If you think, like, just the Beauty and the Beast. Again, this is actually really pretty. There's a, there's a song in, uh, I think it's the musical of Beauty and the Beast where he's like, all those things I should have been, bum. And it's like, it's a deep song. It's kind of like, it was kind of like before Evermore and then we got Evermore, which is also a great song. And I, I vibe with both of them, but this is really pretty. I'm gonna try and find that song. I should sing it because I think it's underrated and deserves more attention. Inside Out. This movie makes me cry, lol. Michael! It's the Michael dude. He wrote for Inside Out too, dude. Mans has stacked up scores for real. He got he got Ratatouille. He has Up. He's got uh, Inside Out. Cars. Did he write all the Cars? I know he definitely wrote Cars too. What was that other one? I lost it. Okay, cute. <laughs> Snow White. Way to his castle will go. Rachel Zegler is going to be Snow White in the live Snow White. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love her so much. Someday my friends will come. Someday we'll meet again. Okay, last one. I think this is the last one. I've got to get it right. I'm getting kind of a Pirates of Caribbean vibe. 
I think I'm gonna lock in with Pirates of the Caribbean because that feels like a good ending point. Yes! Oh, nailed it. The Incredibles, that's the other thing Michael wrote. Incredibles, Ratatouille, Up, Cars 2 for sure, and probably the other cars, and Inside Out. Wow, he's got it absolutely stacked up. Okay, I f this was fun, this was fun. I did pretty good, actually, and I'm really glad Treasure Planet was in there. And I think Peter Pan needs to be in there. Just, I, it's, 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 sure, it was my favorite movie. But that doesn't mean I'm biased, right? I mean, yes, I am. But st but it should be in there. And Return to Neverland should not be in there. That is my hot take. Maybe I'll do, like, more of these with, like, a Harry Potter one where I won't be as good at it. Because, you know, you can't be too good at everything, Maria. Come on, you know. You know, other people will get jealous. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. It's just a joke. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Um, if you played along, great. Uh, if you counted up how many I got right, let me know because I wasn't paying attention. And if you like this, let me know. Let me know if you want me to go back to just singing videos or whatever. But this was fun. And go like my comment about uh, uh, them choosing Return to Neverland over the original Peter Pan because that's really important to me. And have a great day. Bye.